हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ संजीव कुमार शर्मा एंड यू आर वेलकम टू माय चैनल अगेन इट्स एस के एस लर्न टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न के मींस क्लस्टरिंग एंड आई एम श्योर यू यू ऑल आर वेरी एक्साइटेड टू लर्न दिस टेक्निक्स दिस इज अ वेरी फेमस टेक्निक्स इन द अनसुपरवाइज मशीन लर्निंग सो लेट सी वट इज दिस इन अजी वे बिलीव मी गाइज दिस इज वेरी ईजी so what let's see what is k mean actually the k means clustering method is an unsupervised machine learning techniques used to identify clusters of the data objects in a database there are many different types of clustering methods but k means is one of the best oldest and most approachable techniques if i talk about you will notice guys i am taking three name continuously here one it's the unsupervised learnings second clusters third mean so it's unsupervised machine learning this is very clear to you all and what does it mean mean is something is a middle point or the average of the data so you know that all right it's a center point of the data and third we are uh, going to learn this clustering this is a very famous terms i'm sure you have done cluster graphs whenever you have done some visualization uh, data and analysis so this is same thing clusters and we are doing k means through cluster techniques so let's move to next what is clustering actually if i see the definition clustering is a set of techniques used to partition data into the groups or clusters clusters are loosely defined as a group of the data objects that are more similar to other objects in their cluster than they are to data objects in other clusters in practice clusterings helps identify two qualities of the data this is very simple guys if i talk about the clusterings it means something i am trying to find from my data that is matching and that is not matching if i talk about matching and not matching this is not like something which go blindly it's all depends on your objective of the data what is the purpose of that analysis of the data matching and not matching that depends on that objectives only as per objects you will segment your data and it's it will it will be classified it will be divided into two parts or maybe more than two parts which are matching on your objects and which are not matching on objects so here we will get two clusters the data which is matching data which is not matching so this is guys clustering if i talk about the objectives there can be two type of objectives of any one it's a meaningful and it's a useful we will see this again based on that only we do the clustering and we do our data analysis so this is guys clustering simply i can see i have some colors and i just want to make them separately blue side is uh, cluster 1 yellow is cluster 2 and uh, third is red one if if i ask someone maybe there may be okay take an example of the 100 people are standing in a park and if let me ask someone okay the age group 10 to 20 uh, age group the, the young people and one is a age group is for the childhood and another age group is for the old people make a separate line what they will do they will first decide a corner where children has to go and collect themselves they will uh, uh, the young men decide another corner they will collect themselves and uh, the old men people uh, decide another next corner so they will collect themselves right so corner means they are uh, they are selecting a center point that is called cluster center they are collecting at a center point and start collecting ourselves or same same people like their selves who are old and they will ask a hey, people come here we are old we have to collect here so at the end you will see there will be three group a group cluster one for the children's a group second is for the young people and group third it's for the old people now easily you can identify and the hundred of people who are children who are young people and who are old people this is all called clustering in simple language 
okay we discussed that's too meaningful yeah clustering is done on the based on the meaningful and useful now let's see what is meaningful and here i'm trying to give you something based on and decide on the objective before going to any data analysis meaningful cluster expand the domain knowledge guys it's all depends on the domain knowledge not the quantity it's a quality for example in a medical field researchers applied clustering to the generation expense experiment and the clustering results identified group of the patient who respond differently to the medical treatments so here a medical team is, is uh, trying to find something the net uh, result of that medicine and and uh, so they are more uh, you can say they are more interested to make the cluster on the basis of the result that is meaningfulness second usefulness it's depend what is your objective now if i take the example of a businessman useful clusters on the other hand serve as an intermediate step to data pipeline for example businessmen use clustering for the customer segmentation the clustering results segment customers into the group with a similar purchase stories which business can then use to create targeted advertising campaign if you are see i can uh, divide my uh, a population into different segments means you can say different clusters based on their choice their lifestyle their age their purchasing power their occupation their family size etc so as a businessman family size occupation age lifestyle is a useful information for me so based on that only i will make my clusters lifestyle in a lifestyle there may be the old people there may be a children there may be a young people that's age doesn't here for me for me it's it's very important to know the lifestyle of a people so based on that lifestyle i will keep a one cluster for that so hope you know that there are two mean meaningfulness and usefulness to decide any clusters now understanding the k means algorithm conventional k means requires only a few steps the first step is to randomly select k centroid right as i told you as example also we you you need a center point take the uh, the uh, example of that park where up on the park children kids young people and the old people need need first a start point or corner where they will start collecting their self right so it's the centroid where k is equal to the number of the clusters you choose centroid the are uh, the data points representing the center of the cluster hopefully you can see the formulas here the, all the red points are the cluster and the same types of data which is matching and uh, collect their self to that cluster point centered point and that at the end we see how many clusters are there based on the uh, same quality same types depends on the objective of my data what i'm trying to find out based on that only i will order my data to collect or make a cluster this is a very simple k means process i will start i will do a elbow point elbow point we will learn later and measure the distance of uh, from the center point grouping themselves for the minimum distance onto their center point reposition centroid why i will do reposition i will keep doing reposition this point until unless my major of the distance get less and i get the quality quality clusters or quality segment of that data uh, if once that re, that uh, centered point is final and there is no chances to minimize the distance my cluster will be final here so i will start to conversion there hopefully you got that came in process if i talk about the stable data and unstable data so that is same thing which we discussed earlier some matching and not matching so if you see the stable data same type of colors green red blacks matches to each other identified each other i got a center point and make a group make a small group that is called cluster so i can easily see three cluster in first picture stable groups first second third if i talk about the second one unstable results that is unstable right 
they they are not centroid actually they they are in a corner i can see easily black in the first corner red in the second corner and green is the third corner but they don't have centroid so where they have to collect their selves so they are running to each other they are touching to each other's boundary that is unstable results so we will keep running this process from the reposition of the centroid last data we will keep running until or unless we get the first stable result got it why we have to run k means again and again to find a better centroid right so this if you see the first one the clusters are unstable you will get the this result unstable results and once you will find the stable data convergence start from there got it this is a good cluster one okay so i believe we have covered all almost the uh, theoretical part of the kms now we are ready to hands on and case study in a python so uh, this is not possible to cover this in video let's move to the next video and the next video i am going to tell you the uh, uh, live uh, hands on and case study in a python where we will discuss how to create a k mean how to plot that and how to create a elbow and plot that what is a nil locator what is silhouette and uh, we will learn also db scan it's advanced techniques and uh, which is beyond the uh, elbow and uh, silhouette and after that there is a ari techniques adjusted rank index so at the end we get the quality clusters i'm going to uh, upload this uh, uh, live case studies very soon so just follow the below links and uh, thank you guys thank you so much hopefully you like that video and like